Heidi Fang for MMA Fight Corner here with Matt Mitrione, ready to get it on with Roy Nelson on the finale here. How is it coming in for him as a late replacement? Um, it's exciting. You know, I've been out for a while, but I think it's a, I think it's a really fun fight. I think it's a good fight for my style, good matchup for the fans. Um, and I'm excited about it. Like I said, I've been out for a bit, so it'll be fun to get in there and kind of test it out again. Now, it has been 14 months since you last fought. How is it feeling about getting ready going into the cage? Do you feel completely prepared being that you've had that layoff? Yeah. Uh, I, I, I get my ass kicked every day by Overeem and Rashad and Tyron Spong, Tiago Silva, Anthony Johnson, uh, Vitor Belfort. I'm just fine as far as competition and like, like fearing for my life and working and, and getting beaten up and shelling up or whatever else. Like, there'll, there'll be no kind of concern about that. You have made that switch to the Black Zillions fully. You're not training anymore at all with Duke Rufus? Uh, no, I haven't trained with Duke uh, since right after the Kimbo fight. Um, and it just, I, I just felt like I needed more wrestling, a little bit more grappling than what was up there. Uh, and then I, I, I trained on my own for a little bit for a couple of fights. And then uh, I've been with the Black Zillions since March. And then obviously you've been training with them, but you had that one loss that you're coming off of against Czech Congo. How was it taking that first professional loss for you and then trying to regroup with your camp and really focusing in for this fight on what you would need to improve to bounce back from that? Well, you know, I think that would be a highly relevant question. Had I gotten my ass beat or had I gotten beaten in a fight, I lost a decision that was a snooze fest. You know, there was no action at all in that fight. So it's not like I had something I really had to uh, address or address mentally or emotionally about it. It was just, it was, a, it was a, my inexperience that lost that fight. It was nothing else. Um, so I don't have any, any problem with that at all. It was nothing at all to me. It was just a blip on the radar. That's it. Who do you mainly work with over at the Black Zillions? Are you like with Henry Hooft? Are you doing anything with Braulio Estima, working on a ground game? Uh, I am. Uh, I do. I work, uh, we got Braulio and Cyborg Abreu uh, and his crew come through. Uh, my, my, my grappling coach now, uh, Flavia Silva, phenomenal grappler. Uh, Mario Sperry, Coach Henry. Coach Henry and I work a lot. And actually, that was one of the main things that brought me down to the Black Zillions was Coach Henry and Tyrone. Uh, I'd never had a, a striking coach before, and I felt that uh, that they were what they were the missing link for me. Like I've got a, I've got a good bottom game. Uh, I'm not I'm not afraid of being on the ground, uh, but I never really developed my striking, and I felt this is something I really needed, and that's the reason why I went down there. With Roy's style and his ability to manage people on the ground, he does have a great base of jiu-jitsu. Do you feel like that'll come into play in this fight at all, going five rounds? Um, well, I'm, I'm sure it will at some point in time. Uh, and I mean, I think it'd be silly for me, uh, for anybody not to think that we didn't address that. Uh, you know, and so we'll get in there and we'll see what happens. You know, I, I, I put my time in. Now it's up to me to, uh, to make the adjustments I need to make during the fight and make sure I come out on, on the right end. Well, we're going to wish you all the best of luck, Matt, and Thanks. good luck to you on Saturday night. Thanks a lot. Appreciate Thank you. It.